Hi everybody, this is Hanna the Honda Mackinen and welcome to another uh, video where I'm at, where you get to see my face. Well, today's video is sort of a follow-up in my sort of uh, series of heavy metal related videos that I've been doing. Uh, I hope people have been uh, enjoying those. And I really, really wanted to do a video about Black Sabbath. Uh, as a part of this particular series. The thing is, I couldn't really come up with a topic about Black Sabbath that would be too interesting or uh, something that people wouldn't already really know about. But I knew I wanted to do a Black Sabbath related video because, and you're free to disagree with this, in my opinion, they are one of the most important metal bands that have ever existed. So because I couldn't come up with any kind of serious topic uh, for a video, I decided I would return to a video format that I've actually done a couple of times before, but previously when it had to do with a heavy metal band, I did, I did this back in 2012 when I was living in Glasgow, uh, when I uh, viewed and reviewed all the different Iron Maiden uh, album covers for all the albums that had come out at that point. And I decided, well, that was kind of fun, let's do that again. Let's do that. Black Sabbath album covers, and this, we're talking about the studio album strictly in this point, and I'm also going to immediately address the elephant in the room, which is Seven Star, the Tony Iommi album. Like any hardcore Black Sabbath fans know, it wasn't really a Black Sabbath album. It was supposed to be Tony Iommi's own solo album that just had Black Sabbath slapped onto the title, so we're not going to discuss that one at all. And instead, we're just going to go chronologically from their very first studio album to their very last studio album. And let's get on with it. And we start, of course, with Black Sabbath. And I have to say, uh, I don't actually own this album myself, but I have to say, I do like what they're do doing with the cover here. It's very, very creepy. Uh, I love the lady in this. It has a painterly feeling. I don't know if this is just a photograph or if it is a painting or if it's maybe some uh, a mixture of both. That maybe it is a photograph that's gun painted over. Uh, but this is really awesome, and I did not realize that this actually came out the very same year as Paranoid. I actually do have that. And Paranoid... <laughs> oh boy. I mean, if you know Black Sabbath, you know Paranoid. I ha do have this album. But I do also have to admit, this has got to be one of the worst metal cover, metal album covers of all time. I do not have any clue what they were going with this. Like... The guy's clearly just wearing uh, kind of like circus tights and like a motorcycle helmet and then like a crappy shield. Like, you know, I'm saying about th about this cover, the same thing I said about the Japanese cover for uh, Castlevania 3. This, this looks like a shitty cosplay of something. But it's really hilarious. I do have to give it that. I do think it's one of the funny... I th it's a horrible cover, but it is actually really, really funny. Okay, 1971, uh, Master of Reality... Not a real big fan of that, it's just some text. So, not much to say about that, let's move on. Oh boy, 1972, Vol 4, or Volume 4. Yeah, very inventive. How long did it, <laughs> how long did it take you to uh, come up with that title? Well, I guess, you know, Led Zeppelin weren't very inventive with their album titles either. And the difference is that I actually like Black Sabbath. I, I guess that's supposed to be Ozzy, isn't it? Uh, this is very 70s. Kind of shitty, to be honest. I mean, Paranoid is at least funny. This is just kind of mediocre in the middle of the road. 1973, Sabbath, Bloody Sabbath. Uh, mm, I actually like this. This is very, it's kind of artsy. Uh, got the 666 there. Yeah, it's it's kind of neat. It, it doesn't really stand out. I, do, I don't, I'm not, a, not the biggest fan of the color scheme that's being used here. I suppose those are either nymphs or witches. I'm not entirely sure uh, who are going on. Uh, is that a guy or a girl? I guess it's a. It's a bit. It's a bit ambiguous, honestly. I wish I had a slightly better quality picture of this. But I think this is. But I think this one is neat. Not one of my favorites, but it's. I think it's neat. Sabotage. Ah, it's the uh, mirror where all the character, where all the uh, band members are facing outwards. By the way, I never noticed. Look at the shoes on Ozzy. God damn it. 
I mean, uh, I have a bit of a thing. I usually don't like the awkward band photo approach, but I don't know. I, I, I guess it's okay. This one's not, um, it's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. Technical Ecstasy. I have this. I actually have this album, and this, this, this occasionally also makes, like, the bottom ten worst, um, a metal album covers list for, for some people. I actually think it's kind of nice. I, 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 I don't know. It's very, I know, it's artsy fartsy and the official uh, explanation apparently of what's actually going on here is that it's, about, it's apparently two robots having sex, which I don't know, it, it, I, that's not really what I get out of it. It's a weird cover, but I, I kind of like it. Then we come to Never Say Die. Love the Triforces on the Black Sabbath logo. It's two guys in pilot masks. They're kind of weird looking. Uh, you know what? I, I think I like Technical Ecstasy more than this one. This, this doesn't really do a whole lot for me. Kind of bland, to be honest. Heaven and Hell, the first Dio album. Not a big fan of this one. Uh, I mean, I, I love the song Heaven and Hell, but it's... Angels playing uh, cards and smoking cigarettes. The art's nice. I don't think that's about it. I can really, I can't really say much else about it. Mob Rules. This one looks really cool. It's almost like a comic book. Uh, I don't think I've ever actually listened to Mob Rules. It's kind of interesting. It's creepy. It's artsy, but it's not like uh, it, it's not like pretentious. I, I that's what that's what I really like about it. It's very brutal, straight straight to the point. Yeah, that's. That's a cool one. I, I guess this is probably my favorite so far. Oh god, born again. <laughs> now this one legit is um, also another one of the candidates for like the one of the worst uh, metal album covers of all time. I have to say, I fucking love this. I mean, this is the... I mean, I've made a blog about uh, bad uh, heavy metal album covers, and I did feature this one, but I do have to say, like, I... This 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 album cover, it just makes me laugh. It's, it's so... It's so fucking stupid, but it's so awesome at the same time. Like a baby that they've drawn... First of all, they painted red, and then they've drawn all the uh, the fangs and the nails and the little devil horns, like, I think that is my favorite detail, is the little devil horns, honestly. This is one of the albums that has one of the other singers who's not, neither Ozzy nor Dio, so I, I, I've never, I'm not sure if I've listened to this, but I, I, this one is all, another one of my favorites. It's, it's, it's very different from Mob Rules, like, Mob Rules is a legit, like, actually good album cover. This is just hilariously bad. I love it. Eternal Idol, just a pair of statues, I mean, it's nice, it's clean, but it's kind of dull also. And speaking of dull, Headless Cross. I think I've listened to a little bit of this. I actually think it's not a bad album, but yeah, it doesn't. Black Sabbath's clearly kind of a fan of minimalistic album covers. That's something that we already learned from their, like, their 70s album covers. It's just a freaking cross. Like, it's, there's not really a whole much... There, there's not a whole lot to it. I'm sorry. It doesn't... It, it might seem like we're kind of speeding by, past few of these, but honestly, a few, most of these are kind of... Both of these are not very interesting. Tear, Black Sabbath. I have not actually listened to this album at all. Continuing with the kind of Celtic, but also you have the... Uh, the uh the viking rune uh style i gotta be honest i never really got the viking aspect of metal it's just not it's not interesting if anything it's kind of tripe and cliched so yeah there's not a whole lot i can say about this one i mean it's it, it's clean i mean compare but i would honestly take a kind of a shitty but memorable cover like born again over something kind of bland and generic like this one dehumanizer this is uh when dio came back to the band i love this album by the way and i think this cover is pretty fucking kick-ass like ro robotic grim reaper stealing that guy's soul it has a kind of cheesy 90s PC game box uh, vibe to it, which I guess is part of the reason why I like it. But also, it's just a genuinely piece, good piece of artwork in my view. Okay, the guy's face is a bit derpy, I will say. <laughs> it's, this is probably the only minus, but other than that, I think this is actually one of the better ones uh, of the, of the ones uh, of the ones we've seen up till this point. Uh, cross purposes, um, just an angel with burning wings. I might be confusing this, but I think this might be a cover that uh, was either plagiarized or was plagiarizing another album cover, or there were just two album covers with, like, 
angels with burning wings that look very similar. So I don't know, I, I maybe I'll have to look into that. I may be spliced in if I if I find that cover. I think it's a clean image. I think it's actually quite nice, but it's it doesn't really jump at me either. Oh boy, forbidden. <laughs> okay, we went from a kind of a really cool Grim Reaper to a kind of derpy one. I don't know, it's kind of cool. I like the colors, uh, contrast of the blues and the reds. I don't think I've ever listened to this album, but uh, I kind of want to now because the cover is kind of derpy and cute. I love the little devil running around as well. I like this, this is funny. It's not a great album cover, but I think it looks kind of funny. Then we come from a really big jump. The previous album cover was from 95, I think. And this one, we go all the way to 2013. So I'm not counting, like, the Heaven and Hell uh, covers. It's just the ones that are for Black Sabbath. That's just the Burning 13. Uh, again, it's simple. It's clean. I mean, if, if that's what you, what you were going for, I guess it's okay. But... Like I said, I would rather take a slightly silly and memorable cover over, you know, something this generic and bland. And then finally, the 2016, the final Black Sabbath, Sabbath album, The End. And I think it looks kind of cool. I'm not sure, are those supposed to be teeth? I'm imagining that this is like a skull with a mustache. But I'm pretty sure those are supposed to be teeth. I don't know. I actually do like this one. I think, uh, especially with the red uh, cross shape there, I think it actually very, it's actually very, it's, it's really the only one of these simplistic ones that really strikes me as at all cool. Uh, so yeah, good job with that. I, I don't, I haven't listened to this one either. I maybe, I, I really should. So to be honest, like one of the reasons I like Black Sabbath is basically because I like Dio and uh, Ozzy so much. So maybe in the next video, I should either go through the album covers or for either uh, Dio or Ozzy or possibly both. Leave it in the comments. Which one do you want me to uh, react to next? But that's all from me for now. I'm Hunter the Hunter Mackinnon. See you on the next one.